Hi, it's Emily. Today I'm going to do the one minute, 10 minutes and one hour challenge. And so uh, I'm going to look at the violin Mendelssohn concerto and um, I'm going to look at it for one minute then play it, then 10 minutes, play it again, and then 49 minutes and play it again. Um, it's not the whole concerto, just the beginning of the first movement. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, look at it for one minute. I might not play that much. I might write stuff in my music. I'll see what uh, I'll try to find the toughest spots because I only have one minute. You tell me when to start. I'm writing some notes because when I sight read, I don't want to hesitate. No time for hesitation. When they're very high, sometimes. Okay. Page. Oh my god, that's fast. That was one minute. <laughs> okay, let's try it. <laughs> so it's a piece that I've never played before and now I'm going to try it with the accompaniment so there's no, not a lot of room because I have to try to follow their speed. Let's try this. My God, that was horrible. Okay. Very uncomfortable too with the pages on my lap. Uh, well, okay. Uh, I would not recommend to practice like that at all because when you practice, you have to be able to 
read at your own speed and I was clearly not doing that and I couldn't hear the accompaniment so well either so uh, yeah that was tough but now I'll practice it for 10 minutes and see how it goes so you tell me when to start Okay, but now, um, honestly, I don't think I can do it with the accompaniment. No? Even after 50 minutes. If I don't practice it with the accompaniment, you can practice there's with no the way. You're allowed to practice with the accompaniment. Okay, because like, there's no way. Okay, it changes uh, completely uh, mm -hmm. at the end, the tempo. Yeah, but that was a hundred times better than the first time. Yeah, yeah it was last, already a bit better. It's the last better. page, it's the last two pages. Yeah, I think I would also have to um, listen to it with the, with the two, like... Yeah, 
We'll get the last half hour. Oh, so cool. during my 49 40 minutes, minutes yeah. I want to listen to it properly and uh, note things and yeah. So now you have 49 minutes starting now. Okay, but can you get me a... Yeah, we'll, we'll put it on the computer. You can okay. turn off this now. Delicious. 20 minutes. I'll try it um, again. Can I try it like a little bit slower? It's like uh, whatever happens. Five Sounds seconds. Like I think I need to. Um, clean Time's up. <laughs> cool. Okay. Are you ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do this.
you did it. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that worked out pretty well. <sighs> yeah, in the end, it's not too bad. Like, I would still have to work on a couple of things. I was a bit surprised when I entered at 76 and I was kind of... Mm. Yeah, like the two name was like, what? What is that? But little things like that, you know. If I had to uh, work on it, I would still, uh, I would not play that in concert tomorrow morning. But yeah, <laughs> that's uh, that was cool. That was a bit stressful in the beginning because it's a lot of stuff to look at for one minute, and then you have the recording. That's another thing. Like if I had to just play it at my own pace, I could still play quite fast, but maybe not that fast. But yeah, it also shows how much you can do in an hour. In a way, it can be good because like you play it, then you see where are the trouble spots, then you can really go in those spots more. I think that what helped me uh, be efficient in that hour was that um, first I have a pencil and I write down when I make a mistake. If I see that twice I made a wrong note, I tend to write it down uh, because just like my brain just has the wrong note, you know, and I have to make sure that I reprogram that and it's easier if I write it down. And then I use a metronome, played slowly and then increased the speed, the speed in the tough parts. Like I went 60 and then 80 and then 100 and then 120 and then, you know, I go faster and faster. And then also I alternate. So just because just before redoing it, I did it once a bit slower, the whole thing. Uh, that's also good because if you always play fast at one point you lose control so you want to alternate between fast and slow so the metronome was very helpful for that because if I don't put it I tend to go a bit too fast the metronome helps me to both you know both keep myself from going too fast when I'm practicing slowly and also push myself when I'm trying to get it a bit faster so these are strategies that you can use in your practice uh, you can tell me in the comments what type of strategies you use or if it, this was helpful for you um, I will continue to practice this piece and release it as a real recording uh, soon and um, I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please like it. Be sure to check out our website musigy.com for our flute method and some music and see you next time. Be sure to check out our website musigy.com where we have our... Yeah.